I'm going to call, I'm, I'm looking off screen. <clears throat> I'm looking off camera at the uh, drawing. I'm going to call it a drawing. But um, yeah, it's a really good watercolor, I think. I'm really happy with the way this one came out. I, I'm grinning. <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm grinning. Um, yeah. Hello and welcome back to the studio. Today's video is going to be slightly different. It's going to be more of a vlog style. I wanted to try out different uh, techniques throughout this month with uh, the recording and editing as well as with uh, art. So uh, hopefully you can bear along with me as I try something different. So this is how I usually start my drawings. I either have an idea, a sketch, or an image. In this case I have an image. This is a photo I took the other day. The bird is a black capped chickadee and I've just defined where the eye is going to be in this image. I'm aiming for the lower right corner for where the bird is going to be. Uh, instead of this chain I'm going to be uh, adding a branch of some sort. This is going to have a little bit of watercolor in it but primarily it's going well we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking a little bit of watercolor with primarily the pen and ink. So I finished up the uh, quick sketch and then I took a sp or an eraser and I took away most of the pencil lines. Uh, there might even be more than I really want, but we'll see. Uh, there's going to be a lot of pen work after this, so I don't think it matters too much for this situation. But now I'm basically ready for the wash and um, we'll see. I'm going to have to be careful. I say a wash, but it's going to be a very dry wash. This is very flimsy paper and so it's not going to be able to hold a lot of water without a lot of rippling so i'm not going to be able to work as wet as i usually do with watercolor so that's going to be the challenge for today i think so i'm going to be using a large number six brush uh, but i'm going to take most of the water out of this and i've just got a mess of colors that are on the palette from other paintings that i'm going to be using today I think I'm going to start with the belly of the beast. I really want as loose um, an application as I can today. I, I'm really trying for a looser style here. Just suggestive strokes and let things go as they can. I tend to be very controlling with my colors. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to be a little more relaxed, as it were, as relaxed as I can be. Always have extra mixing areas. I want this gray. I don't have a gray on the, the board. I'm just adding a little bit of the brown here. This is a Payne's gray or maybe a lamp black. I'm not sure. And I'm trying to work with as big a brush as I can as well, because uh, in doing so, it forces me to be less exacting. I can still use the tip and I can get a relatively fine motion out of that. This is a, there's a fuzzy area of, of feathers on the back. So I want to darken up here. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Nice dry brush technique. I wasn't expecting that. But I'm going to run with it. And I'm going to see what happens. Sometimes you just got to try stuff. I got this big fat brush here. I'm just going to wipe that. I didn't like it going down, so. There we go. I'll leave the rest for pen. This is Inktober, not watercolor Tober. 
Um, I am going to put in a branch though. And for that, watercolor is the better tool. Have to be prepared to accept what the image is going to give you. That's the only way you can really get a fluid, natural feel to this style of painting. It's also a good idea to stop, look at it for a moment. Make sure you know why you're making the next move. This is the thing I've really learned from the Sumi. Uh, just step back, breathe, take a moment, then go back in. looking pretty good. I think I think this is going to be primarily a watercolor painting. I guess I really wanted to paint today. <laughs> Ah, this was supposed to be a pen exercise, wasn't it? I don't really want to do very much with the pen on this one. Very happy with this. Okay, I'm going to call that enough because I don't really want to do any more to this painting. I'll call it a drawing, but it's really a painting. I've done multiple takes on this part of the video because I, I keep rambling, so I'll try and keep this concise. <laughs> um, I think that this process so far this month of, of working in a different medium has really given me a better appreciation for watercolor and uh, its strengths. And I felt like I was able to step over a threshold today with this painting. Drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a drawing. This is my drawing for today. Uh, I've stepped over the threshold and I feel like I've, I've gained a far greater appreciation for uh, watercolor as a medium and my skills as, a, as an artist. Um, boy. I need to stop looking at the paintings, drawings right off screen. But anyways, um, I'm going to stop now. <laughs>
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share with your friends. I think people will really like this dra drawing. And uh, yeah, um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm trying to incorporate uh, all your suggestions and your requests. So uh, keep them coming. I love them. I love, I love reading them. And um, I need to stop looking at that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, and don't forget to ring the little bell icon. I'm trying to put out a video a day for the month of October. So far, I've pretty much made it. So um, yeah, if you want to see another video from me tomorrow, probably in a similar format, hit the bell icon, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm going to go gush over my drawing. <laughs> Have a good one. Goodbye.